Okay, so I'm going to talk about classes in this video. Um, the exercise I'm working from is page 162, page, uh, chapter 9 from a book called Path and Crash Course by Eric Mates. Uh, question 9.3 Users. Make a class called User. So class user create two attributes called first name and last name so the two attributes are first name last name and then create several other attributes that are typically stored in a user profile so I've, I've created um, student number and university and so when it comes to making the class which is called user in the doc string describe what the class does it describes student users the first method, also known as a function, but functions are the same as methods. The only difference is, well, there's two differences. The first difference is that a, a function is called a method when the function is put under a class. So whenever a a function, these are all functions, that one, that one, that one, there's three functions, this one, that one, that one. Whenever functions are put underneath a class, we cease calling them functions, even though they operate like functions, and we start calling them methods. The other difference is that the first function, which from now on I'm going to call method or methods, the first method in a class is an initiate method. So the name of the method is, um, is initialize. Now uh, we have to put self a self parameter in there so that the other methods will point the arguments that we put in these other methods will point back up to the initialize method then we follow that self parameter with any other parameter that you want to put in uh, we also need to put self in front of um, the attributes these are called attributes and they tie into the parameters as you can see we also need to put self in front of of them so that it all ties back to the initialize method so this is the class here in this box that's the user class that I've created it consists of three methods the initialize method the describe user method and the greet user method. The describe user method does this, describes the user in a sentence, and the greet user method greets the user by first name only. And so let's continue here. Um, make a method called describe user that prints a summary of the user's information. I've described that. Make another, another method called greet user that prints a personalized greeting to the user. I've described that. Create several, inst create several instances representing different users. So here's three different instances. I've called them Mr. Lionel's class, Mr. DeGrasse Tyson's class, Mr. DeGrasse Tyson class, and Mr. Armstrong class. And um, these, these, these instances, they uh, refer 
to the user class, which is upgraded here. And then I've just entered first name, last name, student number, and what university Oscar attends. And I've created another instance here doing the same thing and another instance here doing the same thing. And so then the question, so we've done that part, this first uh, part of the sentence. Then the last part of the sentence is to call both methods for each user. So uh, here I'm calling both methods, greet user and describe user for one user uh, and then another one and then another one. In this in this case I've just put class the classes, you know. So that's that question done.